Hello and welcome back to TEW 2016. I'm here once again with my WWE save. We are here with the SmackDown before Clash of Champions. Not that that means anything for SmackDown, but it is the last show until we get to the next pay-per-view. So let's get started. We kick off the night with Daniel Bryan in the ring. Um, and he says, I don't want to wait until Roadblock. Nakamura, I want to fight you again tonight. Cody comes out and he says, last week you beat Nakamura, but that doesn't mean you're the most deserving of that opportunity. And Brian says, I don't need to prove myself. I have my match at Roadblock, or maybe tonight if Nakamura isn't scared. And Cody says, you see, Paige was really impressed last week, but Shane McMahon isn't as impressed. So he made a match tonight between us with the winner facing Nakamura at Roadblock. All right, next we have see Andrade, Rey Mysterio arriving backstage when Andrade Cien almost attacks him, throws Rey's head through a window, car window, and Zelina Vega says, El Idolo is a, the man to put you down for good. If you can make it to Roadblock, we'll see you there. So it will be, if Rey Mysterio can make it, Andrade Cien Almas versus Rey Mysterio. All right, next we have a 62C Matt Hype promo here is Kenny Omega will face Kofi Kingston next. Last week he beat Big E, I believe, so this week he's going against Kofi Kingston in a 78B match. Kenny Omega defeats Kofi Kingston with Kreutz Wrath, and after the match, he um, he celebrates afterwards. All right, next we have a 60, uh, 67% C-plus promo by Asuka. She comes out and just says one phrase, not even a full sentence. She says, Becky Lynch is not ready for Asuka. And then she has a 56 C minus match as she um, just squashes Billy Kay. And after the match, sh Becky attacks Asuka. And I throughout the whole thing, she's taunting Asuka about how Asuka isn't ready for Becky. All right, Nate. 50 D plus promo. I expected this to do bad for their first promo, just the two of them. Anyway, the Young Bucks are backstage, and he says, Many of you out there thought thought of us as the best team outside of WWE. Nick Jackson then says, you thought all our success would stop once we got here, but how do you like us now? And they hold up their tag titles and Matt says, tonight our opponents are truth and Titan Dillinger. They're jokes, Nick says. And they're in for a long night because we're not just good. We're not just great. We're elite. And then in a 80B promo backstage, AJ Styles is in a, have this, a sit down interview with Michael Cole. And Cole says, thanks for sitting down with me today, AJ. Let me start by asking, what did the WWE Championship mean to you? AJ says, there's only two, uh, only two things I care about more in this world than that championship, my wife and kids. After them, that title is my life. And Miz has taken my life hostage. Cole says, how have you coped since losing that ch championship that means so much to you? And Sal says, I haven't coped. But I am more focused than I've ever been. Because Miz didn't just win the match. He outsmarted me. And I can't rest at night knowing that Miz was better than me. He may not be better in a straight up match. But he doesn't have to be in a straight up match. And I know that. But I didn't see what he was. I didn't see what he did coming. And I'll be ready for it come Roadblock. And Cole says thank you very much for your time. I was hoping for a better there. A 58 C minus entrance for the Young Bucks and the Young Bucks in a 61 C match defeat Ty Dillinger and R Truth in just a throwaway match here. And after the match, Xavier Woods and Big E, Kofi Kingston's hurt from the match earlier night with Kenny, come out to attack the Young Bucks. Cody and Kenny come out to make the save. Um, I'd imagine Cody, I'd have Cody um, go after Big E. Kenny after Xavier. Biggie gets some big shots on Cody before Kenny saves him with a V trigger. And then right as the, um, the, the New Day are leaving, Daniel Bryan's music hits. He comes out and Co um, Cody versus Bryan is next. And in a 81B match, Daniel Bryan defeats Cody Rhodes. Um, and after the match, Daniel Bryan celebrates to end the show. And the show gets an 81B, the worst show in a little bit. But still not horrible. I've had I'm pretty sure I've had worse. I'm pretty sure the first raw was not as good as that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. If you liked this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Thanks so much again. I will see you guys next time.